Advance orders are an incredibly useful tool inside of Thinkorswim that provide you a very simple way to automate some of your trading. These order types will allow you to set up multiple orders in advance, orders that trigger other orders, or set parameters to include both a profit target and a stop loss target. In today's video, we'll be discussing the many different advanced order types available within Thinkorswim, focusing mainly on the first triggers OCO, first triggers two OCO, and first triggers three OCO. These order types will allow you to set your profit target and your stop target before you even enter the trade. The two OCO and three OCO will actually allow you to set up multiple different profit targets or stop targets before you get into the trade. Now, beginning with a very simple first triggers OCO bracket order, this is going to be used when you want to exit the entire position at a set profit target or stop target. Before hopping into it, I will mention there are a few different methods of doing this. The first method is more methodical, but it can take a little bit longer, and that's what we're going to start with. So looking here at my Thinkorswim platform, you can see we've already got Apple pulled up here, and what I'm going to do is just come over here to the current asking price of Apple and go ahead and select that. As soon as I do that, a little order ticket's going to pop up down below to actually buy me 10 shares of Apple at the current price. Now, before even jumping into the advanced order portion of this, let's go ahead and set up our opening trade. And in my case, I'm going to say I only want to buy these shares of Apple if it drops down to 150 bucks a share. The next thing I'm going to do in order to actually turn this into an advanced order is come down here to the lower left hand corner and select right here where it says single order. That's then going to open up a pop up window with all of the other advanced order types available to me. In our case, the very first one we're going to do is click on the first triggers OCO bracket order. And remember, that simply means that this first order is going to trigger two other orders to go out there. So what I'm going to do next is actually come over here to the order ticket itself anywhere on this green line and go ahead and right click on it. From there, I'm going to come down here to this drop down menu and select create opposite order. What it then does is actually create our closing order behind this one, but only one of them. So we need to do it one more time to create the other portion of this order ticket. So now what we have is our opening trade followed by our two closing order tickets. And what we need to do is actually edit these. So looking here, I can see this first order ticket is a limit order. So this is going to be our profit taking order. And I'm going to go ahead and change this from 150 to 160. So what I'm essentially saying is if Apple then goes back up to 160, I want to sell it for a profit. And I'm actually going to make this a good until cancel order, saying it doesn't necessarily have to happen today. The next thing I'm going to do is come down here to the second sell ticket and change this from a limit order to a stop order. Now, for this example, I'm going to say if Apple then ever drops back down to 145, I want to cut my losses. I want to get out of this thing. Then all I have to do is change this from a day ticket to a good until cancel ticket. So looking here now at this advanced order ticket, what I'm essentially saying is if Apple drops down to 150 today, go ahead and buy me 10 shares. If that actually happens today, I'm actually able to buy those 10 shares at 150. I then want to try and sell it for 160 or get stopped out if it ever drops down to 145. Since this is a one cancels the other order, whichever one of those sell tickets fills first, the other one is automatically canceled. So it's impossible for both of those sell tickets to fill. If the stop fills and I get out at 145, the limit order is going to be canceled. If the limit order fills and I sell those shares for 160, the stop is going to be canceled. So again, this is a very simple way to set up your trades ahead of time or automate your trades a little bit. Now, another cool thing you can do ahead of time is actually set in percentage targets rather than specific dollar targets. So let's say for me, I generally like to have a 10% profit target and a 5% stop loss. What I could actually do is come down here to my order ticket and let's start with the limit order first, my profit taking order. Looking over here on the left hand side, you can see a word manual, meaning we are specifying the price ourselves. What I'm instead going to do is actually come here to the word manual and flip this over to trigger. Now that simply means that I want this order to be based off of whatever my fill price is. And in this case, I'm actually going to set the profit target as 10%. And you can see here, I clicked on this little icon, switching it from a dollar amount to a percentage amount. And now looking over here on the right, I can actually change this to 10%. So just throw in 10 right here. And now I've got a 10% profit target based off of whatever I end up actually buying these shares for. The next thing I'm going to do is come down here to the stop and change this from manual to trigger. Once again, I'm then going to come down here to the dollar amount and change it to a percentage amount and change this to negative 5%. So again, what I'm essentially saying is first off, go ahead and try and buy me 10 shares of Apple at 150. If that fills, go ahead and put an order behind it to sell it for a 10% profit or stop me out if it ever goes down 5%. But again, really easy way to set these orders up in advance. The only downside is that this kind of takes a little bit of time to do it every time. So what I'm actually going to do is save this as a template so I can use it in the future. 
In order to do that, we're going to come down here to this little floppy disk icon and go ahead and select it. From there, we can see a little pop-up window comes up. And right now, this is the name of this order template. And it's way too long, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of there. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and name this 10 shares, so I know the quantity here. I'm then going to specify that it is an OCO bracket order. And I'm going to say it's a 10% profit target and 5% stop just so I can recognize it anytime I try to use this in the future. So now that I'm happy with that, I'll simply come down here to the save button. And now I'm gonna have this as a template anytime I wanna use it in the future. So let's go ahead and delete this out of here. If I were to instead come up here to the price of Apple and right click on it this time, we can then come down to the drop down menu where it says buy custom and actually see our template right there. 10 shares OCO with 10% profit or 5% stop. And this doesn't only apply to Apple. If we were to come up here and throw in Facebook instead, and I were to do the exact same thing, come up here to the price and right click on it, then come down to buy custom and actually let's go ahead and select that. Looking down here, you can actually see the order ticket gets built out for me automatically. Right here, I'm saying I wanna buy 10 shares of Facebook and right now it's defaulting to the current price of Facebook. And then whenever I fill, I wanna put out a 10% profit target or 5% stop. So you can see creating templates will definitely save you a lot of time going forward. Really, the only thing I need to change in this case is maybe change my entry price. So let's say I didn't want to buy it at its current price. I only wanted to buy it if it dropped down to 196. But then after that, I'm essentially good to go. I can just go ahead and hit confirm and send and I'm all set. Now, moving on from that, let's next go over the first triggers two OCOs. And that would be used if you have multiple different profit targets. Now, in my case, since I don't want to completely start over with this, what I'm going to do is actually use this as the base template right here, the first triggers OCO, but I'm going to come down here to the advanced orders box and change this over to first triggers to OCOs. Now, what I'm going to do is actually come up here to my sell ticket and I'll use the limit price one, my profit target one, right click on it, and this time say create duplicate order. I'm then going to come up here to the stop and right click on that one and again say create duplicate order. So now what you can see here is my opening trade to buy 10 shares, and then I've got two sell tickets for a profit, two stop tickets. Now at the moment, this doesn't make any sense, so the very first thing I need to do is actually change the quantity of shares. So let's say for this first example, I wanted to buy 10 shares of Facebook, and then I wanted to sell half of it at a 10% target, and then the other half at a 20% target. So what we need to do is come over here to the quantity box and actually change that from 10 to five in each of these. So we'll just go ahead and do that really quick here. So now I'm essentially saying I want to exit half of it at 10% or half of it at a 5% stop. And then let's say the other half at a 20% target and the other half at a 10% stop. Maybe I wanted a little bit more wiggle room on that one. And of course you could set the stop as the exact same amount if you wanted to. But now what I've essentially created is a opening trade with multiple different profit targets. And if I was actually happy with that, and I'm gonna use this template a lot going forward, and I don't wanna recreate this every single time, let's go ahead and save this as a template again. So we'll come up here and again, rename it to something I could actually remember it. We'll again do 10 shares, because the share quantity will default. I'll then make it clear that this is a two OCO ticket. And for this one, I'll just go ahead and put 10 slash 20 and five slash 10. But again, you can name it whatever you think you'll be able to remember in the future. So now that I'm happy with that, we'll just come down here and hit save. And if I wanted to delete this out of here, let's go ahead and practice with a different stock ticker, make sure it's actually working. Coming up here to the current price of coin, if I were to go ahead and right click on that, come down to buy custom, we can see the previous template I made right here. And then we can see the two OCO one that we just made. So let's go ahead and click on that. Looking down here, you can again see it did all of that work for us. Right here, we're saying we wanna buy 10 shares of coin at the current price. Then we're saying we want to sell half of it at a 10% target or half of it at a 20% target or get stopped out if it drops 5% or 10%. But again, very simple way to automate some of your trading. Now, finally, the three OCO, I think you guys get the idea, is if you had three different profit targets. So again, since I don't want to do all of this work over again, I'm going to come down here to where it says first triggers to OCO. Go ahead and select that. And this time select first triggers three OCOs. Coming back up here to the order ticket itself, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the last one that we created. Go ahead and right click on it, create duplicate order, and then do the exact same thing for the stop. Now again, the share quantities don't make a whole lot of sense right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these. Let's go ahead and just bump them down to three, and then let's do two here. All right, so what I've got is an order ticket to basically sell out of half of it at a 10% target, 
then I'm selling three shares at a 20% target, and then the final two shares will say a 30% target. But let's also say we wanted the stop to stop us out of the remaining five still if it ever dropped 10%. So I'm gonna leave the stop for both of these exactly the same. But the process itself is exactly the same as the previous examples. It's just gonna take a little bit of repetition on your part to really get comfortable with this. Now finally, just like the previous examples, if I wanted to save this to make it really easy to use this exact template in the future, we'll just come down here and hit save. And I'm just gonna give it a really simple name in this case. Let's do three OCO and go ahead and hit save. Now, if I were to delete this out of here, and again, I could use it on coin, I could use it on anything. If I were to go back to Apple, cause remember the stock does not matter. Come up here to the current price and right click on it. Come down here to buy custom where we can see all of the templates TD has made for us. And then all of the ones that we have made for ourselves. And right there, we can see the three OCO bracket order. So looking here, if I were to go ahead and click on it again, we've got all of those order tickets pre-filled out for us. You guys may need to make some minute changes. Maybe you want to change how many shares you're actually originally buying or the original price. But other than that, you've got everything else pre-filled out. And all we have to do is hit confirm and send to actually send it. Now, besides this method, you guys also have the ability to do this on the active trader ladder. So let's go ahead and delete this out of here. Come up here to my charts page and let's go ahead and open up the active trader on the right hand side here. From there, you can actually see the template button right here. And it says the word single at the moment, which means we just want to place one trade at a time. But what we could do in order to actually access those advanced orders, like the first triggers OCO or two OCO or three OCO is just go ahead and click on that. And then we'll see them down here below. Now they do have a slightly different name, trigger with bracket, trigger with two brackets, three brackets, but it is the exact same thing. So in our case, if we wanted to do a two OCO bracket order, we can go ahead and click on this. From there, you can see the exact same thing as before, but maybe a little bit more organized. Right here, we've got the first OCO bracket order, and then right below that, the second OCO bracket order. At the moment, if we were to look at that, the first OCO has got a $1 profit target. The second OCO has a $2 profit target. Just like before, if we wanted that to be a percentage amount rather than a dollar amount, we can come up here to the plus or minus and go ahead and select that and change it to a percentage amount just like before. As of right now, it's got a 1% offset or a 2% offset. And we're leaving the stop set as a dollar amount saying if it ever drops by a dollar, get me out of half of it or $2 get me out of the other half. Now, just to the left of that right here where it says quantity, this is where you guys would actually put in how much you want to sell out at a dollar or how much you want to sell out at $2. In my case, it's kind of squished right here so you can't see it. But this is where I would say, hey, I want to get out of half at one, the other half at two or get me out of two shares at one and the other eight at two. Now, just like in the previous example, if I wanted to save this as a template, because maybe I'm going to use this 1% target and 2% target all the time, what I can do is come over here to the floppy disk icon on the right hand side and go ahead and click on that. Just like before, it's going to ask me, what do I want to name this template? So just for simplicity's sake, to go through this a little bit more quickly, we'll just name this 2OCO and go ahead and hit save. Now, from now on, if I come up here to the template box and go ahead and click on that, we can actually see the template I just created right here, 2OCO. So again, very, very simple way to automate some of your trading a bit. But hopefully you guys see all of the potential uses of these advanced order types. After today, you guys should all feel comfortable with how these orders work and how to place them within Thinkorswim. If you have any questions for me or recommendations for other tools you guys would like me to discuss, please leave them down below. But that wraps up today's video on the advanced order types. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one.